what is up guys welcome to my channel and uh, just before we get into the video make sure to press the subscribe button down below press the little bell next to it uh, to get all the notifications in the future and uh, yeah guys enjoy the video what is up guys welcome back to my channel this is PNT gaming uh, my name is Edgar but yeah I just want to show you this deck that I've uh, sort of uh, used and as, as you can see from oh my itchy nose um, as you can see from the title, it's going to be the new Hog Trifecta if it's good enough. Um, I've changed it up a little bit since then, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll show you a couple of replays and then we'll go into a live match. And then, um, yeah, we'll see if it's any good or not. So, yeah, um, if you're new around here, smash that subscribe button down below, as I said in the intro of the video, I guess. Um, also, let's try and get to 15 likes in this video. Uh, Hog Trifecta has been one of the best decks in Clash Royale, one of the most fun decks to play with as well, guys. So make sure to smash that like button for the Hog Trifecta deck. So let's just watch this uh, replay. Uh, so I'm gonna send my Hog Rider with the um, with the log, and as you can see, he's got some archers. He's got uh, elite barbarians coming towards us, and it's looking a bit a bit tough, a bit tough to to deal with. So uh, we're gonna use the tornado spell, which is a very big thing for this deck uh the tornado spell is just incredible if you use it correctly guys so make sure to try it out um okay so he's got baby dragon he's got electro wizard he's got mega minion he's got a uh, minions and, and a royal giant uh, the most hated card in the game and um, as you may have heard he, he does have he's, he is getting a, a, a nerf which i think is not good enough like his deployment time is going to be increased which is not that good i think so uh, I'm just gonna turn the volume down for some. so uh, I'm gonna send my hog rider and the musketeer is actually gonna get on that tower uh, as well as the hog rider and we're gonna take out his first tower just like that so not too bad at all but we do we do have one full health bar elite barbarian on our tower so our right hand side tower is in a lot of trouble taking a lot of hits so I, I don't think we've seen the royal giant yet so he's keeping it secret he's keeping it well at the moment so. Here, here he is. He's put the Royal Giant first and he's put the Archers in front of the Royal Giant. Not sure why, um, even though it doesn't really matter because the Princess would have taken him out. Uh, anyways, so we do have some minions coming towards us, which is a bit annoying because obviously they're going to take pretty much take our tower out. And yeah, we we need to do something. So I'm going to send my Hog Rider with the Musketeer and the Valkyrie, uh, which is going to be really, really good of a push. But he has nothing to counter it. No, no, no car, no, no elixir to actually counter our little push, and yeah, we're doing well. So his tower is down to eight, two hundred eighty-five. We're gonna put the cannon down. We're gonna, we're gonna use the uh, tornado spell to get the elite barbarians towards a cannon and the other tower, and it's not that bad. It's not bad, not that, not bad, not bad at all. He's gonna take our uh, right hand side tower out. I'm not sure if that fireball was needed, but I was like, yeah, you know, why not? Just, just to be safe. Uh, the uh, Hog Rider is going to take out his uh, left hand side tower nice nice and easy and now what we need to do is just defend against this Royal Giant which is going to be pretty tough because obviously our tower is down to 952. Uh, we've got some Elite Barbarians coming towards us but that's okay we're going to use the Tornado spell to sort of redirect them towards our King Tower and not to get any any other sort of um, trickle damage on our tower which is, which is great guys. Um, again uh, we do have a Royal Giant, giant which is going to be a bit of annoying, annoying but we're going to log it back so the Royal Giant actually focuses on the cannon and uh, that's not bad at all. That's the first win. So I'm going to show you one more replay. I'll be back as soon as I get that and then we'll go into a live match uh, later on. So guys, we're back now and um, I've got this uh, replay against a giant, giant Sparky deck. As you may know, Sparky's are tough to deal with. And uh, because I haven't got I haven't got a zap spell in my deck in this um, hog tri new hog trifecta deck, it it may sound like it's a tough time tough time to actually deal with Sparky. So I'll show you how I done I've done that. Um, so okay, so he's got his uh, goblin barrel ready to go. We're gonna put a musketeer to take out his goblin barrel, which is nice and easy, taking out taking it out nice and easily. So okay, he's got a giant. He's gonna start a giant. Uh, we're gonna put a princess on the other side. So so he has to choose which side to sort of uh, um, log or fireball or whatever. So we're gonna throw our log, log I think, because uh, that's just 
perfect for us because obviously the musketeer and the princess it should be able to take out this uh, these barbarians and then um, we're gonna put a cannon to distract this giant and look at this like he's gonna put a minion horde I'm a bit I was a bit worried about it but then again like I got a princess shooting from the other side and look at this the minion horde didn't even do that much damage to be honest obviously he's wi still winning he's winning on damage uh, but it's not that bad the Valkyrie defended the princess but then she killed it she pushed the princess forward she's, she's like oh, I don't want to take any hits I'll just push you forward and um, yeah that wasn't the best um, if because if the princess was stayed alive, we would have done a lot more damage. We're gonna fireball that wizard, uh, which is just value for us, and then we're gonna put princess to take him out completely. So now we're like, okay, what are we doing? What what we're gonna do? Uh, so we're gonna send the hog rider, and uh, he's gonna put his princess down. I think. There we go. He's gonna put his princess down, and now we just need to defend. We're gonna log all of those back. The hit the princess and the barbarians as well, and that's great. Uh, I'm not sure if I defend that princess. Um, no, I won't. Um, the princess pretty much took out the barbarians, which is great. But um, obviously, I could have I could have put the Valkyrie in, in front of the princess to actually defend the princess because then he has to counter it. He has to do something about it. So here we go. He's gonna put his Sparky down for the first time. Uh, let's just see what he does. Let's just see how we defend against it. We're gonna throw the Valkyrie in the middle. We're gonna throw the princess on the other side, as you may as you may notice. I've done it quite a few times. And now we're gonna log uh, that goblin barrel. I knew that's gonna go that way. And then look, as soon as the uh, wizard um, gets close to the Sparky, we're gonna throw the fireball. And uh, the, the the princess shot, and the and and the and the fireball actually pretty much took out the Sparky. Then we're gonna tornado spell everything together. And look at this, a tower. Is pretty much untouched. Uh, we're gonna log that perfectly back. Get rid of this um, goblin. Get, get rid of that goblin barrel. And um, all I can say, we smashed it. We smashed it really well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys um, like this deck because it's, it's really fun to play with it because it's something completely different. And uh, and at the same time, something that used to be really good. So let's just go into a live battle and uh, let's just see how we can do in a live battle in in a in a live match um, while talking to you guys. So we, we need one more crown to open up this crown chest and uh, yeah, nothing else, right? So let's just go. I think I got the right deck. Yeah, I got the right deck. So I've changed the, uh, the fireball to a poison spell instead, uh, just because I thought the poison spell sort of reflects the the old hog trifecta deck. So I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. See how he, see how he works out. So we're gonna send the hog rider straight in, straight away. See how he see what he does. We're gonna put the um, log, hit the hit the witch, hit all the skeletons. We could have poison spell that because that would have been a, a lot better trade. Uh, so we're gonna put a uh, cannon for this hog rider, and then we're gonna put the musketeer to help out with the witch uh, and those skeletons. And we're okay. We have he's done more damage than us, but we, we're not doing too bad. Uh, so we're going to put the Valkyrie this time, and now we're going to send the third component of this deck, the Hog Rider, and now he has to do something about it, like the Valkyrie is like, still has half a health, and uh, she's going to take pretty much most of those bar elite barbarians, uh, I mean, barbarians out, and the Hog Rider is actually going to get like two or three hits on that tower, that, which is perfect. He's going to arrow our princess, that's okay, um, free for free, value I guess for us, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So we're winning on damage. Um, he's the level 10, so he's the level below us. So, you know, they may, it might not do the justice, this deck. So we just need to wait now. I'm going to put the cannon because I don't want to waste elixir because I've got, got three spells in my hand right now, which is not, no, which, which is not good. Um, we're going to put the musketeer right at the right, right hand side. He's just waiting for some reason. I don't know why he's waiting. We're going to put the Valkyrie down. We're gonna send the hog rider in, and this could be, guys, a tough, tough push to deal with. I'm gonna put the poison spell down, and uh, this, this, this tower is pretty much dead. Uh, we're gonna throw the log back, log back the uh, the witch, and do some sort of do some trickle damage to his tower as well. And uh, just because he's waited um, for us to do something like he just made it made it worse for him we're gonna throw the princess uh, for this hog rider to help out with the hog rider and we should be fine 
Um, he's going to arrow that as, again. We haven't used the tornado spell yet, which we can easily use against uh, the uh, the hog rider. Um, the hog rider didn't actually get a shot on that tower, which is a bit annoying, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to log all of that back, get rid of that witch. We're going to throw the cannon for this hog rider, and we should be able to take this win nicely home. We're going to throw the hog rider and the Valkyrie on the other side just to sort of distract him from thinking what is he doing. And uh, the Musketeer should take out our right hand side tower nicely. We're going to throw the Poison spell. We're going to throw another Musketeer in his base. And uh, this is going to be game, my friends. This is what I'm talking about. This deck is really, really good. And you should try it out. Give it a go. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Uh, as always, guys, spin your boy PNT Gaming. You know, with, with a new deck for you. A uh, new, different deck for you guys. Um, as Monday to Friday, 7 p.m., Check out my channel, make sure to subscribe, make sure you press the little bell next to it to get all the notifications in the future. And let's just open up this crown chest to finish off the episode. Okay, Ice Spirits, Barbarian Hurts, okay, nice, not bad, not bad at all. I can upgrade my cannon to like a level, level 11, which is, which I should do, because it's, it's, it's better to have level 11 ca uh, common. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I certainly did. And as always, my name's Edgar, it's been your boy PNT Gaming, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.